Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our review for Final Fantasy XIII 2. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. <clears throat> Final Fantasy XIII 2, originally released in 2012. A year I remember fondly as the year. Um, it says here it released in Japan in 2011. Damn you and your research, Bertram. Oh, fine. Final Fantasy XIII 2, originally released in 2011. A year I remember fondly as the year I managed to pull a chocobo out of a hat. Oh, I didn't know you were into magic. Oh yes, ever since I was a small boy with no body hair. Um. How did people react when you pulled the chocobo out of your hat? I bet they were impressed. Uh, not really. Turns out keeping a chocobo in a hat while you set up your magic shoe is not a good idea. The bloody thing must have panicked and suffered some kind of heart attack. So when I pulled it out of the hat, it was, uh, kind of sort of dead. Oh my! Uh, don't worry, Bertram. I was able to return it to the store I bought it from. Oh, and how did that go? As follows. <clears throat> Hello, I wish to register a complaint. Hello, miss? Uh, what do you mean, miss? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a cold. I wish to make a complaint. Uh, we're closing for lunch. Never mind that, my lad. I wish to complain about this chocobo, what I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh, yes, the, um, chocobo. Uh, what's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. He's dead. That's what's wrong with it. Uh, no, he's, um, he's resting. Look, my lad. I know a dead chocobo when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. Uh, no, no, um, he's not dead. He's, uh, he's resting. Remarkable bird, the chocobo, isn't it? Uh, beautiful plumage. Ha ha, I love Monty Python. Uh, what the hell is Monty Python? Um, anyway, let's get on with the review, shall we? Final Fantasy XIII 2 is, go figure, a Final Fantasy game. Not only that, but it is a direct sequel to Final Fantasy XIII. A game I love more than I love the Moogle I keep locked up in my dungeon. And I love that Moogle very much. Uh, do you love him more than you love me? Bertram. I love a bloody broom handle more than I love you. Oh. So, story. At the beginning of Final Fantasy XIII 2, Lightning, the very attractive protagonist of the original game, has disappeared into an unknown world. So, her younger and far less attractive sister, Sarah Farin, and no Christ, journey through time in an attempt to find her. Uh, who the hell is no Christ? One of our playable characters. Oh! And boy oh boy does he love to be played with, as I discovered in 2017 when I met Noel in a bathroom in Grand Pulse. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. Anyway, speaking of handjobs, I mean, playing, 
let's talk about Final Fantasy XIII 2's gameplay. Imagine driving a car with a clutch, brakes, an accelerator, a dead prostitute in the trunk, and then some. That's the gameplay of Final Fantasy XIII 2 for you. Uh, I don't get it. Basically, this game has lots of combat options. Oh! The usual turn-based combat of previous Final Fantasy games gets a major upgrade with the Paradigm Shift system. First introduced in Final Fantasy XIII, it is carried over to this sequel. No longer do your characters take turns hitting each other with oversized sex toys and vegetables. Though technically you still do that. Basically, your characters can shift between different combat roles like the Commando, Ravager, Sentinel, Saboteur, Synergist. Uh, aren't you going to explain each of those roles in detail? No, I bloody am not. If you want to know more, then play the game for yourselves, bastards. Apart from fighting, you'll also be able to tame monsters and use them alongside you in battle. You'll also be visiting every location at various points in time and this requires some light puzzle solving, figuring out where to go and what to do, and in what bloody time period. This game was supposed to be an improvement on Final Fantasy XIII, which was criticized for its linearity, lack of exploration, and side quests, but I've never held that against Final Fantasy XIII 2, and I can confirm that though Final Fantasy XIII 2 adds all of those things, it is absolutely nowhere near as good a game as Final Fantasy XIII. It lacks that, it lacks that game's emotional moments. Most of its characters are nothing more than glorified cameos here. It doesn't have Final Fantasy XIII's amazing cutscenes, and replaces all of that with two playable characters who can't compete with the camaraderie or interactions of Lightning, Hope, Snow, Zaz, Vanille, and Fang. It also doesn't help that Final Fantasy XIII 2 has a story that's more incoherent than Helen Keller after 12 pints. Uh, I don't get it. Just, uh, just a little offensive joke, Bertram. Never mind. Haha. <laughs> the point I'm making is, I bloody love Final Fantasy XIII. And while a lot of people prefer Final Fantasy XIII 2, I absolutely do not. But it's still good. Not great, but good. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our review for Final Fantasy XIII 2. If you enjoyed this little review of ours, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.